All right, we're at the Bosworth Company, and this is in East Providence, Rhode Island, in their test shed, where they're running their diaphragm pumps 24-7. All the pumps that we see here have been running, looks like, since December. We're with Doug Riley here and Ingrid over here, one the, uh, the research person. And so, but Doug, tell us about this experiment you got going on in front of you. So with this pump, when you turn it on, when the valves are dry, you get 19 to 20 inches of mercury vacuum. And the point we want to make with this is that when the valves get wet, the vacuum will increase up to 28 or 29. So we have a little bit of water that's going to come into the pump. We're going to put this tube into the water down there and then open up. We'll open up the line. Now it's going to draw some water up. vacuum valve. As the valves will get wet, the vacuum will climb past 20. What a difference. Whoa. There we go. That's very So once the valves are wet, you get very high vacuum out of the pump. So explain why. What is it? So when you're using a diaphragm pump at the sugar house, it's very important to make sure there's liquid in the line to get the maximum back vacuum that you can. 28 inches, almost 20 and a half on this guy, right? Right. Tell us why. The valves seal better when they're wet. And that makes all the difference in terms of the vacuum that the pump is able to get to. So what many sugar bushes, sugar makers will do is they'll take a and plump a little line from their collection tank back into the inlet of the pump. That ensures that you always have a little bit of sap on the the pump in order to and again, with the diaphragm pump, you can achieve 28, 29 inches of mercury vacuum. Exactly, as you see in all the pumps here. And the reason why, Doug, is because, well, first, the, the pump has the capacity, but the most important thing is the sugar maker needs to check the leaks, correct? Yeah, if you've got a basin of paper that you keep the leaks, you manage your lines, so you keep the leaks to a minimum. These are low CFM pumps, so if you have leaks, it won't be able to keep up in terms of the vacuum. But if you manage your line, keep the leaks out, the pump is able to achieve a very high vacuum for you. Very good. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Ingrid. You're welcome. And, and we have to